What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're using an Iron Moth and Galarian Moltres team for Regulation D. You guys are in the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But our first Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be Shen Pao. This team seems to be very, very strong with a few off meta Pokemon and Shen Pao is getting us started here. It's got Swords of Ruin with the Focus Sash as item, Icicle Crash, Sacred Sword, and Sucker Punch with Protect as its final move. Probably the best move set for Shen Pao in the competitive scene at the moment. In our second slot, we're rocking out with Iron Moth. This Pokemon pairs up perfectly with Fluttermane because it has Acid Spray, which lowers special defense, allowing Fluttermane to come in there and just absolutely dominate the, the uh, Pokemon with the special defense level. And it's Quick Drive as its ability with the Booster Energy as its item, and then its other three moves are Heat Wave, Energy Ball, and Protect. In our third slot is the one and only Fluttermane. It's got the Life Orb as its item alongside with the Fairy Terror type, so this thing can do some crazy damage. Move set is pretty standard with Moonblast, Shadow Ball, Dazzle Gleam, and Protect. In our fourth slot is going to be our lonesome support Pokemon for this team. It's going to be Amoongus with Regenerator and the Rocky Helmet. And I absolutely love Amoongus with the Rocky Helmet, especially going up against uh, Water Urshfu's using certain strikes. Basically does half damage to them when they're hitting this Amoongus. Amoongus got Spore, Rage Powder, Palm Puff, and Protect. In our fifth slot, we got the one and only Iron Hands, and this Iron Hands is running Heavy Slam, which I absolutely love in Regulation D. Fluttermane is such a threat in Regulation D, so having Iron Hands with Heavy Slam really makes a big time coverage for that Pokemon. It has Quirk Drive and the Assault Vest, and its other three moves are Fake Out, Wild Charge, and Drain Punch. In our final slot, we got the one and only Galarian Moltres, who I love. I love this Pokemon's design, I love its typing, I love everything about it. It's got Berserk with the Safety Goggles as its item, with Fiery Wrath. Tailwind, Nasty Pop for that plus two special attack boost, and last but not least, Air Slash for some nice stab flying type damage. Guys, if you want to write the team for yourself, run out the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to grab some wins with this Iron Moth and Moltres Regulation D team. We're hopping into our first match for today's video, and we're going up against a really cool off meta team. They got Toxtricity, Hisuian, Zoroark, Sneasler, Fluttermane, Amoongus, and last but not least, they got Sableye for a little bit of support action. How should I play this one? Who should I go into? Do I go into Iron Moth and potentially Fluttermane? I feel as that could be pretty good, but something that we have to watch out for when going up against this team is going to be Illusion Zoro. They're probably going to lead it. It's probably going to be Zoro Illusion into a different Pokemon. So we got to definitely watch it. Watch out from there. So I'm going to go into... I just think these two just rock out really, really well. I mean, they could have Fake Out with Sableye, but then we have the nice little Ghost Typing on our Fluttermane, which works wonders. Do you have Ghost Typing? Oh, I could go into Shen Pao, but I'd really rather save Shen Pao for the back end. I'm going to go Shen Pao in the back end alongside with Moltres. And I feel as that could be really, really good for us. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But if you guys couldn't tell, my voice is a little scratchy. I have a sore throat. I woke up yesterday morning with a sore throat, and it was terrible timing because I had my uh, fantasy draft. And for me, my fantasy football draft is like a big to-do. Me and 11 of my buddies, we all get together. It's like an all-day thing. It's an offline draft. We draft for like three hours, and it's just such a good time. Don't go to the bar afterwards, all that. But I ended up powering through it, having a good draft, real good draft. My team's actually stacked. My team's actually stacked. So if you guys want to know about it, let me know in the comment section now below. But uh, Iron Moth and Fluttermane is coming out here for a lead, and I didn't even see who they led. Who is it? Sableye and Amoongus. Double support, or is one of these illusions? One of these gotta be Illusion, and I feel as Amoongus is Illusion, right? He's gonna fake out the Iron Moth, which is totally fine. And I'm just gonna go into a nice little... Do I go Terra Dash and Gleam? I like it, because again, I think Zoroark is Illusion into Amoongus, right? I really do. I, I feel as the Sableye is a solid lead, but there's no way you're double leading support, right? There's just no shot you're doing that. No shot. Not a chance. So I'll terrasse slash Fluttermane, reading that, that uh, Shadow Ball might be coming into me. And we'll roll out from there. We'll roll out from there. We'll see how this one plays out here. So Protect comes out from the Moth, because I do believe Sableye is going for a little clap skis on me. A little fake out action. It's just going to skill swap. Okay, what is going on here? Is that actually a Moongus? I think we're going to find out here. It is actually a Moongus, but he's just giving it Prankster. Okay, now I understand what you're doing. And me no likey. Me, me definitely no likey. <laughs> me definitely no likey. So from here, um, 
I feel as the play is they're trying to spore my Pokemon. So I'm thinking of just terrestrializing. I can't terrestrial. Oh, man. I think I'm going to go to sleep. I think I'm going to sleep here. I do have safety goggles for Moltres. So, you know, what? I'm going to swap into Moltres. A little bit of safety goggles action, and I'm just going to rip into. Do I Shadow Ball potentially here? I'm going to do as much damage as I can to the Moogus slot. Say bye, I'm not too worried about it. I mean, it can Willow Wisp me, but I have special attackers. So I'm going to hard swap Iron Moth into the Safety Goggles Moltres. Safety Goggles will allow us not to be spored. It's actually awesome, but I guess this was an illusion. It really threw me off. I'm just going to spore my Fluttermane. That's fine. You can't spore my Moltres. But the thing about this is they don't really have like any top tier Pokemon to do some big time damage on me. So I think I'm cool with this. I don't really mind it. He's going to end up taunting me. Okay, see, like, that, that's what I'm saying. You, you're not doing any damage to me. You just put me to sleep. So from here, we do have the lovely safety goggles. And now it just seems like a turn to just nasty plot up, right? It seems like a free turn to nasty plot up. And then I guess I'll try to get off some damage on the moves, but we're going to be asleep this turn. So we'll see what he wants to do. We could end up swapping. There's possibilities of that, but I think he's going to try to put my Moltres to sleep. But again, safety goggles are best friend. So there's the withdrawal there. We get a free nasty plot this turn. And I think Amoongus tries to put me to sleep. Which is massive. So Toxtricity is going to fly out here. Um, We'll waste out a turn of sleep, and we'll kind of get cooking from there. We'll get cooking from there. So I get off this, and you're going for a clear smile. I think the Lordy didn't hit my Moltres with Clear Smog. That could have been bad. That could have been real bad. So from here, Toxtricity is a little bit of a threat. I'm hoping Fluttermane will wake up. This will be three turns into sleep. But I think Fiery Wrath could be a good call here. I could obviously go for Air Slash, but I like Fiery Wrath because I am plus two. So I'm going to go for Fiery Wrath, and at the same time, I am going to look to go for a Shadow Ball and double down in Toxtricity slot. Toxtricity, definitely a problem. I'm hoping Fluttermane will wake up here. I would, I would think it would, right? Three turn sleeps are rough. They are definitely not rough. Two, very optimal, you would think. So he ends up hard swapping. That's totally fine. I'm going for a fiery wrath instead. And I'm hoping Moltres can outspeed Toxtricity. I think that speed's kind of close, but I think we should be fine with it. We're going to end up seeing a Terra. A nice, lovely Terra from Toxtricity. I wonder what typing we got cooking. I going to say straight electric? No. We're going into Boom Burst. Boom Burst Toxtricity. Ready, ready to rip up. But again, hopefully we, we're outspeeding. No, you're outspeeding me. Really has soul. Can you eat this up, Moltres? I think Fluttermane dies. Oh, Fluttermane survives. Oh, that's massive. That's massive. And we get Berserk popping. So I'm plus three now. Fluttermane gets the three turn sleep, which really hurts. And that thing is definitely true scar. And Fire Rats can come out here doing some big time damage and just picking up the double KO. Plus three. Okay, now we're sitting pretty. Now we're sitting real pretty because they got a Moogus in the back end who I'm not too worried about. They don't have Terror type. My Fluttermane will wake up this turn. That Toxtricity was choice scarf. That thing was cooking. He was cooking. I like that combo though. Nice little boom burst, but I just feel as like there's a there's better combos to go into. It's just not it's just not doing the damage that, that you want it to do. The Moongus comes out here, I can air slash him, he can protect. I think I'm just gonna stick with fiery wraths. And you're gonna bring out Fluttermane. Okay, so Fluttermane. Definitely a problem. With booster energy. Please be special attack. It's probably speed. It is speed. Okay, so that's slight issue. Slight issue. I don't don't have protect on you, so they're just gonna pick up the free double kill. I'll try to set up a tailwind. And if I can, I'll go into Shadow Ball, but it's just a free double kill for them. Rage powder, dazzling. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty easy for them. Oh no, you move. That's surprising. That's surprising that you didn't pop Dazzle Moon. You must not have Dazzle Moon. That just gives a free shot of Shadow Ball from my Fluttermane, who finally wakes up. Massive. <laughs> finally wakes up. And we'll go from there. So I get off some nice damage. I can now go into Shen Pao. And drop a nice little bit of Ice Spinner. Oh, I died of Life Orb. Okay. So I got Shen Pao. I got Iron Moth. I like them both at full HP. Very, very solid for us. And I feel as from here, we got the Focus Ash, which is huge. I feel as from here, we just double down to the Flutter Main slot. Ooh, do we double down? Well, technically, yeah, because we're going we're gonna to send a Heat Wave. 
I'm gonna send a heat wave and on top of that, we're gonna just ice spinner into the corner and send, instead of sucker punching. This is a little bit better for us. We have the focus ash, we have all that good stuff, so it's definitely my best bet. So I'll go icicle crash. Is that icicle crash or ice spinner? Icicle crash. Love it. Icicle crash and then heat wave across the board. Love it, love it, love it. So he ends up going for a moon blast. We have the lovely little focus ash. And yeah, we should be chilling from here. I think Amoongus is going to try to put one of my Pokemon to sleep. As long as my moves land, we should be chilling here. So I still crash, should put this thing down very, very low. Or just KO it, which we love. And then Heat Wave, probably going to KO this Amoongus as well. So, cool, yeah. Me and Heat Wave are on the same train. Me and Heat Wave are back. I haven't been missing Heat Waves in a while. There's match number one. Landing the Heat Wave to win it all. We're 1-0. 1-0 and o to get this video started. You guys gotta love it. We're hopping into our second match. We're going up against an elite team. Elite squad for Regulation D. Tornadus, Fluttermane, Urshifu, Heatran, Iron Hands, and Amoongus. Elite. All meta Pokemon. All super, super strong. How should we play this? How should we get after it? I feel as they're potentially going to lead Tornadus. And just try to take speed control from there. They could also lead Fake Out with the Iron Hands. That's an option. But I kind of want to go into Tailwind potentially with Moltres. I could go in with Shen Pao. Shen Pao is not bad here. I like Shen Pao. Pokemon that we're going to have to worry about a little bit is going to be Heatran. But I feel as Iron Hands is going to be a great lead for us. So I'm going to go Iron Hands here. I actually want to see its speed stat. 71. I mean, it's pretty normal. That's a pretty normal speed stat. But its attack and special defense is rather high. So going up against Pokemon like Fluttermane and uh, Heatran, we should be able to soak up a couple shots. Because we have the Soul Vest as well. So I'm going to go with that. I am going to go Moltres here. I like Moltres, especially if we can set up the Tailwind. And then as back in Pokemon, Shen Pao and Fluttermane. Definitely easy calls, right? Easy, easy calls. But I love the Shen Pao's name. Pow Pow. Love it. I love it. It's just, it's just simple yet effective. I love it. I love it. But yo, my mom yesterday came into my room and just left these on my desk. Jolly Ranchers. Whoo! Oh my god. Smack me in the face. Call me jeans. Bro. Jolly Ranchers are rare to have. Kid you not, I can eat like 50 of them. No problem. In like a minute. In like a minute. They're just so good. You just pop one in your mouth. You can do whatever you want with it. It's awesome. I love them. Huge shout out to Jolly Ranchers. Sponsor me or something. I would love to be. <laughs> that would be awesome. But I don't even know who they led. I'm too, too focused on Jolly Ranchers. Um... From here, I'm just gonna heavy slam into what I mean. And I'm gonna try to probably terrestrialize and set up a tailwind for a squad. Really am liking that. So we'll see what Fluttermane wants to do. We do got heavy slam, which is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I love it on Iron Hands. It's just so big. It really is. It just counters the Fluttermane's. It really gets after it that way. And then I'm just gonna terrestrialize Moltres. Just in case Fluttermane wants to rip up with like a Dazzling, it is super effective into both of our slots. But having the Assault Vest and the Special Defense EVs, we should be able to soak pretty well. Beautiful. Cool. Look at that. Half HP. We'll take that all day. So no Tailwind comes out here. I wonder what he's going for. He's going for an Icy Wind. New dodge that? Iron Hands dodge that. Of course Iron Hands dodge that. That's fine. I'll chill with that. My speed's going to drop. But I get off the Tailwind. So we get a little bit of speed here. And now we can say Night Night to Fluts. Night Night Flutter, man. Heavy Slam. Ba boom. See you later. Get on out of here. Done with you. Iron Hands with Heavy Slam is where it's at. I don't I don't ever want to use another Iron Hands now. Like Iron Hands with Heavy Slam is just it's just so good. Fluttermane is on too many teams. So Urshfu's gonna come out here. Don't really like that. That's actually Dark Urshfu. He's Dark Urshfu. And you know what? I'm just gonna rip a drain punch in that thing. And if I can, I'm gonna I'm gonna double down. There's no way you detect, right? It's just simply not happening. You got a tailwind to match speed. You're definitely tailwind to match speed. And yeah, we're gonna see a nice little terror type from here. Nice little terror comes out. Going straight dark for some damage. No, ghosty. You're ghosting up. Oh, that sucks. I'm going for a drain punch into you. That really hurts. That honestly sucks. Tailwind's gonna fly. Can you go after my Moltres instead of my. Actually, can you go after my Iron Hands instead of my Moltres? We're able to soak, but I'm going to miss a Drain Punch. I do get Berserk Pop. Awesome. Lovely. Air Slash coming in hot here. Doing some nice damage. Love that damage. And Drain Punch is going to miss. Ah, uh, ugly. Super ugly. So if I had to guess, Bleak Wind Storm is probably coming out here. And he's going to double down into my boy. Um, Do I hard swap? 
No, I, I feel Shen Pao and Fluttermane in the back end could be really good for us. So I'd rather let these guys die out and then us kind of do our thing. I'll go for a Fire Ring at this point. We're going to hope they make a mistake like that. Like that. That's what I wanted. Because now we get off a little bit of extra value. Icy Wind's going to come in here. Now we get off a whole nother turn. You know, you're already outspeeding me. Icy Wind was... There was no point in that. And now I get rid of your Tornadus. Huge. Huge for us. It's, that's just huge for us. They should have just went into Bleak Wind Storm and they should have just attacked me with... Uh, with Urshfu. But what I think they thought was that my Moltres was Rock and Sucker Punch. Because a few Moltreses do Rock Sucker Punch. So that could have been definitely a good clutch. But I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. We get off some value. We still have Shen Pao. We still have Fluttermane in the back end. And I think from here, again, we just let these Pokemon die out. It's pretty simple. It's a pretty simple, simple game. They don't have Terra. Um, that Pokemon's going to be annoying right there. That Pokemon's going to be so annoying. So I'm going to go into this. I am going to go into a Fiery Wrath here. And we'll kind of just go from there. Because again, Heatran going to be so annoying. Heatran's a problem. I do have Sacred Sword, which is awesome. I'm actually able to soak that. Can any guys outspeed? Probably not. Basically, he's been so sturdy. And then Heat Wave's going to double connect. That's going to take us both out. Cool. Okay, so now we're sitting here. We got Fluttermane. We have Shen Pao. Um, again, Sucker Punch is big for us. Uh, do I Sucker Punch him? I feel as I have to Sucker Punch him. Oh my lord. Oh, he trans a problem. He trans a big time problem. Absurdly annoying problem. Very, very annoying problem. We don't have Terror either. So I kind of want to see how many turns are left in Tailwind, and I really want to see what Urshifu's doing. So I'm thinking of just double. I'm, I'm thinking of just doubling down the Heat Train here. I really am. Because if I can KO Heat Train, that's a win for us, right? If I can double down the Heat Train and KO Heat Train, that's a win for us. So I think that's our play. I think we go here. And we just double down into this thing. Let me see how many turns are left in Tailwind turns. Our Tailwind's over. And they, okay, so we have to double protect here. That's a simple call. That's a simple call. Good thing I checked. Good thing I checked. Because they would have out, outsped us. So, okay. Thank the Lord I actually checked. So I'm going to double protect. I'm going to waste out their last Tailwind turns. And then again, I'm thinking of just double down into Heat Chain. I mean, one of them might protect now so we can actually make a read on what they're doing. So the double protect coming out from us, coming down to the wire. He trans a problem. It really is. But again, like I said, since my Pokemon are going to outspeed him, I mean, I get that Urshfu has Sucker Punch. Oh, you hit through protects. Oh, no. Okay, we're still able to soak. We're still able to soak. And Flash Cannons to come out here. Again, I, I, I really feel as just the double downs are play. What do I I think I could just Sucker Punch you. Sucker Punch Shadow Ball? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. I'll actually change it up a little bit. I knew it. I knew it. Dude, what am I doing? What am I doing? I blew it. I just blew it. I was saying double down the heat train the whole time, and then I switched it? Oh, my lord. Don't tell me. He goes for a heat wave instead. Sucker Punch KOs me. Oh, I blew it. I blew it. That's all me. That's on me. It's on me all day. It's crazy. That's crazy. I mean, we gotta go for Dazzle Gleam. I don't think it KOs the Heat Train. Still, that's crazy. There's a the Sucker Punch finally comes out here. And I cannot believe I did that. Simply cannot believe. Hurts the soul. One and one. Should be two and oh. Let's go hop to a third and final match. Let's go grab ourselves a winning record. That last match really, really hurts because I do not know why I stopped doing what I thought was the play. I went, I should have just went with my gut and doubled down into Heatran and we would have had the win. We would have had the win. I mean, I double protected and I kind of got a read. I was just like, okay, if he's going for Wicked Blow, I could just Sucker Punch him. So that was my thought process and it kind of just took over me and I just clicked Sucker Punch and I went into him. But oh my God, should have just went with my gut. Should have just went with the gut, double down into Heatran. Would have been a big time 2 0 winning record. But uh, now we're sitting here in our third and final battle. We're going up against a Mousehold and Annihilate team with Asumi and Kuja, who's always a threat. And then they got Regilecki, Grimmsnarl, who I think they're going to lead, and Amoongus. So yeah, they're probably going to lead Grimmsnarl. They could also lead Mousehold and Annihilate, but I feel like those are the three options. So from here, I feel as like Grimmsnarl, or not Grimmsnarl, uh, Iron Hands is just a solid lead across the board, right? Is it though? 
So think about Annihilate Mousehold. Mousehold's terror types usually ghost could be a little bit of a threat for us. So I could go... Ooh, Regilecki's looking a little scary. I could go... A little bit of Tailwind action. I do like the Tailwind action. I'm going to go Tailwind action. I am also going to go... Iron Hands, right? Yeah, I like... I just like Iron Hands. I just like Iron Hands here. And then we'll go Shen Pao Flutter me. All day long. Shen Pao Floods. Lock it in, lock it down. So upset that we lost that last match because we could have been chilling here. Just calming. Nice little third and final battle with a 2 0 winning record. Would have been awesome. But now we're on the brink of a 1 and 2 day, which would be a losing record. And I don't want that. I simply do not want that. But man, dude, oh, that just goes to show. Always go with your gut. Always go with your gut. Always go with your gut in this game. They end up going mouse hold and I like. Mm. I think they are going to end up terrestrializing into ghost typing. I mean, I could just go for the dark move. Just go for Fiery Wrath, which makes a lot of sense here. And then I could just... Do I want to terrestrialize? Not really. I feel as we're fine with Minotaur. Um. I feel as we just double down the mouse over here. Actually, we'll double down to Annihilate. Annihilate's more of a threat. He ends up just going for a beat up play here. That's fine. I'm cool with that. So the beat up play comes out here. I could have actually faked out the mouse hold, but I was predicting kind of more so a Terra with the mouse hold. So I'm just going to attack. Maybe we can get a flinch on to the Annihilate. That'd be wonderful. No, he goes for bulk. How dare you? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Bulk up on the Annihilate. So annoying. Wild Charge coming out here, doing about 5 damage. So now this thing's going to hit like an absolute ungodly warrior. And I don't know what to do. Because I'm terrified of this thing. So Air Slash can be a play. We're going to try to Air Slash this thing now. That could be big. And on top of that, I think I'm just going to Wild Charge the Mouse Hole. Mouse Hole going for Follow Me. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was going for Follow Me. Smart play. Easy play. Air Slash is going to be cooking in that slot. Do a little bit of damage, and we'll take out the mouse hole, but this thing's just set up. This thing actually might KO me with this. Absurd. Absolutely absurd. Absurd. Alright, well, okay. I feel you, I understand. Oh my lord. Absurd is an understatement. So now we go into... Do we go into Shen Pao? Yes, right? Because if we go into Flutter main... He's going to Terrasalize. He might even Terrasalize here too. I'm going to go into Shen Pao. Here. I like the Shen Pao. But I'm just going to go into Air Slash into this slot. And on top of that, I'm just going to Ice Crash into the Mouse Hold slot. I don't think Mouse Hold is going to Terrasalize. And he ends up just withdrawing. Okay, who are you going to go into? Go into somebody that's just going to get dumped on by this. Okay, Gloom Snarl. It's okay. He's going to try to just set up screens behind this thing. And then I like goes for the attack. It's a good thing we have a special and physical attacker, so we shouldn't have to pick sides here. So I end up going into the Iso Crash, another one will KO. Unless he goes for the Reflect this turn, which would be smart. Reflect Terra would be the play all day. But he gets back some HP, so annoying. This thing's so annoying. And he's just going from there. I'm gonna go for the Air Slash here, trying to get off as much damage, and I'm just gonna stick with Iso Crash as a Grim Star slot. So hopefully, I'm kind of hoping he goes for Light Tune. Because if he goes for Reflect, then Iso Crash does not KO, and then he can go. Boo. Be smart. And yeah, our, our, our opponent's playing so good with this. It's just the perfect play. He's going to go for Reflect. He's going for the Terra. Fire Terra. Water Terra. That's fine. It's even better, actually. And Light Stream comes out here. No, good. He did not go for Reflect. We like that. The Light Stream comes out here. Iso Crash will finish off Grimstone. Light screen is a little bit of a problem because Shen Pao is my only physical attacker. And maybe, just, just maybe we can get off this flinch. I we'll love a nice big time flinch. Oh my god, this thing's so bulky. Nope, Rage Fist. See you later, Moltres. You're going. Absurd amount of damage this thing does. Rage Fist should be illegal. <laughs> that is just insane. I hate going up against these two. I definitely should have led the uh, counter this thing. Definitely should have. Once it gets set up like this, it's like, it's night-night, all day. 
So from here, you might even just protect. I don't really know. I kind of need to hope for like a crit or something. We're just going to go into Mouse Hold. Hopefully, does Flutterman outspeed? I don't think it does. Really sucks. Because Follow Me comes out here, he just Rage Fists me again. And I think from here, we just protect you. And we just Sacred Sword and Mouse Hold. Because if Rage Fist is going to come after anybody, it's going to be Flutterman. So we're trying to make something happen here. Sacred Sword's going to KO. And please, Annihilate, go after Flutterman. Go after Flutz. Of course you don't. Of course you don't. <laughs> my heart, my soul. My heart, my soul. Our opponent's just playing so good this match. He really is. And this thing's back up to full HP. Yep, yeah, we are not. We are just not taking this thing out. Annihilate's going to get the best of us in match number three. It's just so good. Paired up with Mouse Hole. Mouse Hole is just the most perfect Pokemon to ever pair up with this with this thing. And then Gujar comes out here. Yeah, this is just... It's just over. It's just over. He's just going to outbulk us. I'm just going to run it. We're going to have a 1 and 2 record for today's video. Wish we could have went 2 and 1. Definitely thought we should have. We played pretty good in all of our matches. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A 1 and 2 losing record for today's video. Definitely thought we should have grabbed ourselves a winning record. Match number 2 explains itself made a bad call that one's on me but i absolutely love this team i thought this team all around was really really strong just say we win that match in match number two it really tells the tale it really does but um third and final match annihilate just gets the best of us that pokemon is so strong definitely whenever i'm bursting i should always play as they're gonna lead that pokemon because that's the one thing you don't want to happen is for that annihilate to set up because then it's just game over from there it's got train punch it's gonna ko every pokemon in one shot with rage fist it's insanely bulky and then with a good terror type like that water one right there it just worked out perfectly for our opponent but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know what all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread positive today i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody